Namibia is known for its strict environmental laws and policy framework. Amongst those are those that regulate mining and environment under the Ministry of Mines and Energy, namely the Mining Act 33 of 1992 and the Environmental Management Act of 2007. These acts promote the sustainable development and management of the environment and control activities that may significantly impact the environment when it comes to mining. Amongst many mining activities governed by these two statutes is the oil and gas exploration activities underway in the Kavango East region. Environmental compliance is a very critical aspect of the petroleum uh, industry here in Namibia and every stage of the project, Recon Africa will be required to comply with every environmental uh, condition which is there in the Petroleum Agreement, which is there in the Environmental Management Act, which is there in the Environmental Regulations, as well as in the uh, Petroleum and Explor Exploration Act uh, of 1991. So all those instruments, uh, our majority is to ensure that they are complied with so that we don't have any issues with the regulator. There has been much misinformation regarding the project, including claims that Recon Africa is acting outside its license provisions. There's no way. It's literally very difficult. You cannot bend these regulations because the assessment which are done by the consultants which are hired by Recon Africa, you know, those are experts in the field. They have to determine that uh, what will be the impact uh, if we do this on the environment? What will be the impact on the water? They give professional scientific analysis. These scientific analysis are further processed by the Environmental Commissioner at the Ministry of Environment and Tourism. They have experts within the ministry who look at these reports and, and then look at the uh, uh, remedies which have been, uh, have been suggested by the, by the consultant. And they make a determination to say, this cannot work, this can work. So if it is not in line with their principles, they will decline it and they will not issue a clearance certificate. Or they will give you further you know, things to do to, to ensure that you comply. So the compliance is there and then we have highly qualified people within the Ministry of Environment and Tourism to ensure that it's compliance. As per the Environmental Management Act's regulations, Recon Africa is obligated to conduct public consultation and stakeholder engagements where all the objections and representation from the public members and other stakeholders are considered. Following claims that the San community is objecting to the activities of Recon Africa in the Kavango East and West regions, Chief of the Queer People of the San community, Chief Benny Gombara, and his traditional authority leaders distanced themselves from these claims and extended an invitation to Recon Africa to introduce and explain the project to them. That one it uh, made me unhappy and I was angry because uh, how can people from South Africa presenting us and even uh, like uh, the like even uh, who else like uh, I cannot call the name like those uh, like uh, the one who wanted to say that. Uh, we have to against the project which come to our community or in our country. We won't uh, reject it. We have to wait and see first the thing. Then from there, then we know ourselves, we, have, we also have our mind. No one we can just come and speak on, on, our, on, on, on our behalf. We know everything. We will see the bad side, bad side of the organization, I mean, organ or whatever, or Recon Africa and what is the right side, a uh, good thing for Recon Africa, like the way we see it these days. Recon Africa is coming to us, presenting us personally, and we hear everything, and uh, everything is fine, 100%. Not like those rumors which was we, what they uh, make that meeting and they spoke to my, the, my community and said they don't support those Recon Africa, whatever. But now Recon Africa is together with us, 
And even I went to the site where the Recon Africa is operating. Those communities are happy. Why Recon Africa, when they are operating that site, and uh, instead of working there, and it also to affect the environment of those communities. Those communities are happy. They are getting benefit from the Recon Africa. And what are we needed from Recon Africa? Also, Recon Africa have to give support for our community, what our co community needed. Like uh, water, 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 something like a ball walls, whatever, something like that. So, the, uh, Recon Africa I'm support 100%. Although the queer community is not in the project area, Recon Africa honored the invitation and engaged traditional leaders and community members of the 14 San community villages. It's highly important that all the key um, stakeholders that are involved in the project over the whole Elise area get to know. We obviously po focus on the areas where the project activities are, but in this particular case of the sand community and the different traditional leaders that are there, we had to go and, and let them know because they weren't aware of the project. We had had some information there, but not enough. And some people from the outside were saying information that wasn't the truth. So the actual, the, um, the uh, indigenous leader, the traditional leader, um, Mr. Benny Gambara, he basically asked us to go in there and share the correct information. And so with any kind of project that's oil, gas or mining, you always want to impart knowledge of your project to the different stakeholders that are involved in the lease area. We're obviously not going to have any activities in the, in the park because that's not anything that anybody can do, nor would we do anyways, but it was about sharing the correct information on the project. Yeah, they also said they were further skeptical as there were claims that they have a position against the project while they did not. We are not represented by the sun in South Africa, as they say. Uh, maybe they don't want us here in Namibia to receive good things. That's why they are saying this, that we do not want Recon Africa to start with the oil uh, operations here. In adhering to the Protection Act of Indigenous Peoples' Land and their right, the community consultations were held on a good faith to obtain free, prior and informed consent before adopting the exploration activities that Recon Africa is currently undertaking. So what the representative has said is like a misinformation you have given to us, uh, which we thought the way it will look like. But then from today's presentation from Recon Africa itself, what I've heard is it's, 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 it's the opposite. So I think uh, what he has told us doesn't make sense from what I've heard today. So what is the best is to get first-hand information from the members of the project who are running it themselves, not from somebody else. So, but today he has got the clarity. After a successful consultation with several stakeholders and members of the indigenous people living within and close by the prospecting area, the argument comes out in favor of the oil and gas explorations in the area as this eventually contributes to the economic benefits to the region and several job opportunities to the local communities being the indigenous people living in the areas, in this case, the San communities and the entire Namibia. Me as a Namibian, uh, I actually want this project to start here because the area where we are, it's, it's a conservation area and we are only concentrating on one uh, sector, which is conservation. So we also want to diversify the economy. So with this sector, the oil that is coming, I think it is a good thing that it should come and happen in our area. At the same time, Recon Africa is committed to adhering to the regulations as stipulated by the Mining Act of 1992 and the Environmental Management Act of 2007 
in promoting sustainable management and development of the environment and its natural resources.